All right, everybody, today I've got a project I want to do. Every once in a while, we want to upgrade something in our house. So today, I'm going to replace my countertops in my bathroom here. This is a tile countertop. It's from the 80s. So this is so 1980s. So I'm going to put a granite countertop in, replace this sink and these faucets. But first, I've got to shut the water off. I'm going to remove the sink. And I'm going to remove this mirror because I don't want to tear my mirror up in the process. So let's get this project going. Come on. This mirror is glued on, so I'm going to use some shims to start to kind of get it to pry away from the wall. And also, I'm going to tape it up. So that in case it shatters, it's not going to break it to a million pieces. Also, I'm going to tape it up so they can give it a little bit more strength. I can hear the mirror coming off the wall as I force this in a little bit more. I can feel it just gradually tearing away. There it is. There we go. But always safety, right? It's one thing to be safe. It's another thing to be cool. I'm gonna let Kana do a little bit. He's filming for me, but I'm gonna let him do a little section here. But you see this messy work, but I gotta remove this little metal flashing, and that'll allow this whole thing to come off. I've already started to remove all the all the metal strap around there, and as you can see, it's the sink is about to come up, at least this portion is about to come off of the plywood. So I just got to continue to move along and release this and the whole thing is going to come off together. So I'm going to try to take the whole thing off as one rather than continue to muck with this sink. So right now I'm going to remove this backsplash. I'm just going to cut along here so I don't damage the drywall as I remove it. Just going to score along there. We have removed the backsplash, we removed the flashing on the fronts there, and now we're ready to separate this whole thing off of the vanity. So Kane and I are going to take it off and just put it right onto the floor. There we go. We'll come up high enough off the sink. I'm going to lift the sink in here. The sink. Make sure that we make sure it's all glue is off of it. It's as flat as possible. Clean it off. We're gonna set our other one right up on top. All right, we've removed this countertop. So if you know anybody looking for a used countertop with a sink, we've got a great bargain for you. Okay, we've cleaned the surface off, made it as even as possible. But I found out that with a new sink and a new countertop, I got to go back a little bit further here. So I've got to make room for my my fixtures to fit through so the holes go a little bit further back in here so I gotta notch this out a little bit. Gonna move it over toward the wall. Okay. Alright! It's snug. <laughs> good. Looking good. Okay, we're going to glue these down. We're going to put some caulk on the back, and then we're going to put some caulk sealant around the sides. Alright, this is the final. 
it looks good. I think it came out great. Canaan was a big help. Uh, we were able to get it all in. This, the backsplashes, we just finished kind of sealing this a little bit. So we had to kind of clean it up a little bit, a little bit later once it dries, but we just sealed this. So that looks good. Put the mirror back in, we glued it back on. We added some, a mowing faucet black to match the sink and everything is working great. Like it's supposed to. It took about three hours. This cost a hundred dollars. I found this in the backsplash for a hundred bucks, so I couldn't pass up that deal. I wanted to upgrade the bathroom and that's done. And we're gonna go and do the upstairs bathrooms when I find another one of these someplace. But I think you can do this. All right, make the day awesome.